What's good? What's good? What's good? Hope everything is good with everybody today. Today is beautiful Wednesday. And um, as you see, I'm occupied with my handsome grandbaby. Isn't he beautiful? Listen, lovelies. I'm teaching him how to say I love you. So I, I, say I, I, you gonna say I love you? So check this out. So not gonna be long, but you know I just want to put put y'all up on game or something. You know, um, you saying I man. So here's the thing. I think a lot of times we miss some things, right, with our partner choices and with our decisions on who we gonna be with and all this stuff. We got we got a lot of work to do. Um, more than anything else. Okay, Marley, we know. More than anything else, we need to be focused on some things that I think is very, very important when it comes to choosing partners, when it comes to choosing to be with someone exclusively. That's why I've been posting up little things about exclusivity and monogamy and all of this. I think we move, we, we often think that monogamous relationships um, is the norm or should be expected or we should have a monogamous relationship. It's not about should or shouldn't. It's not. It's not about should or shouldn't. It's not about what we have to do to have a, a very solid relationship. That's not what it's about. You know, there is certain people that you can be with that will bring out um, just amazing feelings to, to the point where they're enough. They're just enough. You, you don't need nothing else. They're, they're just everything you need. So monogamy, okay, just becomes a part of you. You just are. It's not about becoming monogamous or being monogamous or, or sharing all this stuff about, well, who, you, you cheated on me and you did this and you did that. No, let's get off of the cheating game. How about that? Let's think about what in the world will make somebody be enough for you. Have you ever thought about that? It's not how hard it is to uh, cause us to think about what do we need to do to really seek inside of ourselves, our wholeness. And then what person is it that brings that wholeness even more so to the forefront, right? Because at the end of the day, monogamy is just a state of being. I could be with one man and he is everything. I need nothing else. I don't have to, I don't have to have other partners. I don't have to have anybody else because he just brings it all out of me. So he's enough. And then I could be with another partner where he's not cutting all the, he's not hitting all the, the, the outlets in my soul to where he's meeting all of what I need in a relationship. And then I'm going to sit there and say, you know, well, I expect you to be monogamous with me. But I'm not in a monogamous state. I'm not feeling monogamous. I'm not desiring monogamy with you. Not because of any other reason, but that you don't really bring it out in me. That's all. Understand, monogamy is a state of being. I think too many times we're focusing on monogamy being uh, a goal. We make it about goals. Monogamy is not a goal. Monogamy is a state of being. It is a state of evolution. When you find, what, what, what is dating showing us? Well, dating is showing us that through the years, we're starting to meet different people. We interact with different people. We build relationships with different people. We, we start to coexist with different people. And the next thing we know, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, you're starting to really become more important or more significant or more primary in my life because you're actually more engaging with me. I'm, I'm finding myself more drawn to you. Our connection is stronger. So now it's not about, oh my God, you have to be monogamous with me. It just is. <laughs> it just is. Listen to me. We got to get off of this infidelity. We got to get off of all the cheating and what's this and what's that. Understand. It just becomes what it is because once you find somebody that is hitting on all cylinders for you. You don't have to be monitoring or, or, or trying to police them 
or trying to see what they're doing or in their phone or trying to, you know, just be all in their privacy to see if they are messing around. You don't have to do that because of why. Well, because you just know you are primary in their life and it doesn't matter. Nothing else matters after that. We're getting too caught up in, well, he's not being faithful. She's not being faithful and all this other stuff. It's not about faithful, honey. Monogamy is an evolution and monogamy is a state of being. You don't have to be monogamous. That's not what you have to be. It just is. And you become it. You just become monogamous. I'm telling you. We don't have to make it so tough that, oh my God, you know, I, I'm expecting him or her to just be dedicated to me. You don't have to do all that. Trust and believe me. When it gets to a point when you're in a relationship and you care about each other and you find yourself drawn to each other and you are both excited to be in that state of being, monogamy isn't the thing that you're talking about. Being faithful to each other isn't your first and primary role. You just are. Because of why? Because you encompass what I need, what I love, how I feel. You're doing everything that I need you to do. So therefore, uh, there's no more vacancy here. Think about the hotels. When you got a whole bunch of vacancies in a hotel room, right? You got a lot of openings in a hotel, right? Got all these rooms open. But once they get fulfilled... There's no vacancy, so there's no room. It's not that you're being, um, you know, cocky or, or anything like that. It just means that, hey, I'm just, I'm just fulfilled. I have everything I need. So I don't get to a point where I'm trying to rush to change some things. I just am. I'm just excited. I just love being with you. So my, my monogamous state isn't about how do I just stay in this relationship so many people are aggravated by their monogamous relationship that's because it didn't evolve to it you just said you would commit to it i commit to being with you and you only okay but that doesn't necessarily mean that won't change but we have to get away from seeing or believing that um here's daddy we have to get away from believing that oh my gosh you know i have to have I have to have, uh, stop Marley, I have to have somebody, he's on my live with me, so I have to have, I love you, hey. <laughs> you're welcome babe, because he just ate about, um, about an hour ago, okay. he's good, he had a nap, he's cool, I took his socks off, he got alright, thank you, you're welcome, his car you. seat and his, his bag is back there too, babe. Okay. So anyway, back to what I was saying. So you're talking about when you're monogamous, you're ju you just are. You don't have to make it a point to, to be demanding someone to be with you exclusively. They just are because you're enough. And once you figure that out, that once you're in a relationship and like, oh, okay, you're enough. He, you know, she's enough to you. He's enough to her. Then then there's no more conversation. It just is. It's an evolution. And like I said, when you're dating, you're taking time to get to know people. You're taking time to try to figure out, well, is this person um, standing above the rest? Well, how do you know if that is the case? Well, time spent, you know, uh, we're looking at what our interests are. Do we have a, a sacredness with each other? See you guys later. Oh, the bag should be back. Oh, it's in the house. Love you guys. So, is the exclusivity um, where it is because of the fact that, you know, uh, we truly are engaged with each other to a level that it's just beautiful. And therefore, I don't have to, I don't have to demand another person to be exclusively with me. They're just with me. Because of what? Well, because we, we are enough to each other. We don't have to make things about, you know, you're doing this and you're doing that. No, at the end of the day, when you really have an exclusive monogamous relationship, it just is. It evolved to that. We don't have to demand it. It just becomes that. And, and see, here's the thing. I think when we spend a lot of time focusing on policing another person, you're wasting a lot of time that you could be focusing on something else. Understand this. Once you get to that point, of contentment, of enjoyment, 
of appreciation of each other, of forgiveness, those four things alone, it just imparts a whole new level of love for each other. And then that way the relationship will just, that way the relationship will just replenish into a wholeness, into a beautiful thing, into a beautiful state. And then you're like, wow, I don't even have to, I don't even have to make this about anything else or anybody else. Like I said, when a hotel is filled up to capacity, no more, no more can we take any more reservations, right? Same goes within your life. If a man or a woman that you're in a relationship with is hitting on all cylinders, you don't have any room. Not because you, you're feeling some type of way. You just don't have the room. And, and you are okay with not having that room because guess why? They're enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're enough. And not only are they enough, but they are definitely, they are definitely encompassing and hitting all cylinders. We don't have to make this about open, closed, monogamous, poly, all, all that stuff. That's a lot of stuff to try to manage what your relationship's going to be about. Just be. Your relationship will define itself. The longer you're in a role with someone, the longer you're engaging with someone, the longer you're importing your feelings and, and, and energy into someone, it will design its own self. Your relationship designs itself. And then as it grows and evolves, monogamy ain't even an issue. See, I see a lot of brothers that come into my as come to me as a coach and they are struggling with their monogamous relationship. I'm like, what's the problem? Oh man, you know. It's a lot of temptation out here. Really? I get it. So, if you have so much temptation, or you are easily tempted, and we're all human, so we all can be tempted, right? Um, it, it begs, I beg to ask you then, what, what was your angle for getting with the person you're with? Because a lot of times, we evolve into wanting to be with somebody someone in a monogamous arrangement or agreement it's not something that you just do because of some type of demand it's just you evolve into that a lot of men take a while to decide on what wife they want to be with a while you hear me and they've gone through many women usually and so when you sit back and you listen to them, you're like, you're struggling with monogamy. No, you're not struggling with monogamy. With monogamy, you're struggling with the, 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 the actual confines of the monogamy. Because the monogamy is about, well, you can only be exclusively with this person. But when it ain't about that, you're just with this person because you want to be. Then it's not, a, it's not a frustration. It then becomes a just a state of being. And let me tell you. You might be with one woman that, or, or man that brings out your essential monogamous state and you can just be monogamous and not even have it as a th second thought. Yes, you'll see beautiful people and beautiful men, beautiful women, and you'll be like, wow, they're beautiful, wow, they're beautiful, but you don't have a desire to start to want to engage in intimate, you know, engagement exclusively with them. You just say, okay, I, I, I appreciate them. And you move on, okay? But when you are in a state of like tempted all the time and you're on your edge of your seat and you're rocking back and forth and I'm just not getting everything I need right here, then maybe that's not the partner you should be making a monogamous relationship with. And this is why I get the phone calls or the inboxes or they become my clients because they have made or I'll put it this way, they promoted someone to be in a monogamous relationship with them. And they have struggled their whole dating life with them to be monogamous with them. That is That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so you can think that once you go down the aisle or once you tell somebody out your mouth you're going to commit to them or once you state with each other, move in with each other, that that's going to change? No, it's not. If you can't stay structured in a monogamous agreement with someone while you are dating them or beforehand, then what makes you think going down an aisle or moving in together is going to is going to make that happen any easier. It's gonna be it's gonna your temptation is gonna get worse because why? Well, now you have done put the label on it. You done put all this verbal agreements on it. You told them you're gonna be faithful. You said all this, and now you're like, ooh, but I'm getting the itches and the scratches, and I'm getting tempted, and I'm rocking, and I'm like, man, I can't, 
I, I, I still have a part of me that I'm not fulfilled with this person. Why did you set up a monogamous relationship with them then? That doesn't make any sense. You were struggling in your dating life. So now you're going to go and commit your life to somebody? And you weren't even faithful in the dating part of the life? That doesn't make any sense. So like I said, monogamy is a state of being. It's just, it just is, okay? And if you are not monogamous with someone before you are going down the aisle with them or before you get exclusive with them, then st step back and say to yourself, maybe this person is not someone I need to impart or promote up into my life as primary in my life or full-time monogamous relationship. Monogamy ain't easy. No relationship is easy. But monogamy is one of the toughest relationships to get involved in. Trust. Because the level of forgiveness alone is a lot. The level of uh, appreciation of each other is a lot. You got to keep it spicy. You got to constantly put replenish it. You got to water it like you water your plants on a daily basis. Monogamy ain't easy. Period. Point blank. So when we're sitting here putting all these rules and stating all these you know, demands on someone to be monogamous and exclusive with us, we have to understand that that has to be an evolution in them to want to be with you exclusively. And that should be, that should be a evolution between the two of you, not just one sided. It can't be a lopsided agreement and one person's committed and the other one's not. That's not going to work either. So you got to sit back and say, hold on. I can't promote you to be my primary lover or to be my primary mate or to be my full-time husband or none of that because we can't get it right just in the dating phase we we can't we can't be you know what i'm saying we can't be one-on-one -on -one with each other in the dating phase so why would i promote you up and i know we're struggling with monogamy when we're dating so and, and listen some people some men some women can just bring it out of a man to want to exclusively be with her undeniably and he don't it's not even a second thought when i was in my single playgirl years let me tell you something i knew off the rip a man that was locked into his women into his woman i knew i, I knew on lock this man right here is untouchable period point blank i knew just by the way he interacted how he spoke of his wife or his woman i knew that ain't even something to play with go ahead and let that man be happy he's happy with that woman let him be happy let me take my single on self and go keep it moving because i don't play that i don't be all up in other people's relationships i ain't got that to do so when i'm talking to a gentleman he's like yeah you know my woman my wife my girl my what oh you got a beautiful one. Oh, let me help you keep that shit good i'm glad for you i'm happy for you you're just in a uh, you you get placed in an untouchable state i don't have that to do and won't however we have to understand that when a man promotes you in his life as his primary lady be it his wife be it his primary bae whatever there's no question he's just on it he doesn't even ask he doesn't even sit back and say well I don't know. I'm not sure. No, that man knows. When a man or a woman knows that that's who they want to be with, they don't question that. It's what it is, honey. And so you know in your soul, no, those two, you know what I'm saying? No, those two, they together, mutually. And it's not, it's not, it's not dysfunctional, you know, because we, we got a lot going on out here where, you know, monogamy looks a little dys dysfunctional. Well, monogamy is dysfunctional, and this is where it happens, is when there is not an evolution into monogamy. Monogamy, mon ugh, monogamy is not something you make a goal. Monogamy is something you evolve into. Because I'm going to tell you, you can place any woman or any man with some other partner, and they could be monogamous as hell with one and a cheat with someone else. Truth. Facts. So we have to understand, okay, let me sit down and look at my partner before I decide to commit to monogamy. Got to be mindful of this stuff, man. We got to get out of thinking, oh, I got, you know, I got him. You, we have a good time. We, we have a good relationship. That's great. 
but you have to sit back and look at are you and he or are you and she in sync truly in sync with each other and it's effortless and let me tell you something else that's another good clue okay other people look at y'all too and they're like that makes sense y'all two match you two are evenly yoked y'all two are gonna do fine together this is real talk so when you see somebody that matches each other you know we know those people those couples we see them all the time those that just match you're like oh my goodness y'all are so cute Ooh, i love it keep it up stay together okay well that comes where monogamy okay evolved into that they evolved into that that was not okay i'm i'm committed to you and all that that may have been said but it has to be an evolution nobody out here is just committing to someone because y'all have a good time together or you guys seem to get along that's not how it works monogamy is a beautiful thing when it gets done right but there's so many people monogamous in partnerships that don't match and so they're monogamous one's monogamous and one's not or, or both of them are saying they are, but they're really not, or whatever. But the problem is, if you want to have an evolution of monogamy, or if you want something to be in a in, in that type of, you know, evolvement or whatever, state of being, then it, it will design itself on its own. You don't, you don't become monogamous because of words. <laughs> you don't. You become monogamous because of you two being in sync, caring about each other and appreciating each other and deciding, you know what? Because of you, I don't have to entertain other people. Not that I can't. I just don't want to because I'm, I'm great with you. I feel fulfilled with you. You're giving me what I need. That's what monogamy is. It's not about, well, I have to be. I have to be in these confines because of whatever reason. Well, if that's the case, if you're in a confine or in a prison, which is what I call it, if you're barred up with a person and you're miserable because you're like, man, I'm feeling uncomfortable. I'm not, mm, I want to get out. I want to, I want to do something or do someone else. I'm not feeling, then that's not for you. You haven't evolved into monogamy with this person. So, so let's, let's not promote them up then. Let's sit back and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and um you know just not demote them but just understand this is not somebody i'm going to be faithful to so why put myself in a position where now i done said i'm going to be faithful and now i'm really all over the place i'm not faithful i wasn't faithful when when we were dating why should i put this so-called agreement out here where i know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna win at it i'm gonna fail miserably listen man i'm just trying to help y'all out Monogamy is a state of being. It is not about how you can um, control another person. It's not about how you police your lover. It's not how you go through their phone and see what they're doing or rolling up on them. Or, you know, it ain't about that. Monogamy is, is, is a growth in both of you deciding you are primary in my life, period. And with you, I feel the most content. And in this contentment, I want to continue to replenish you. I want to continue to have you here in my life. Period. That is monogamy. Monogamy is not a, a goal to, to try to achieve. Monogamy is not something that you got to go and ha, ha, make somebody become. No, it, it's an involvement. All right. I hope I helped y'all today. I'm trying to kick some knowledge to you about monogamy because I hear a lot about poly and, and all this other stuff and open and, and all kinds of different types of relationships. But ain't nobody talking about monogamy, but everybody's trying to squeeze their foot inside of a monogamous shoe. And the, the relationships aren't fitting. Why? Well, that's because you aren't monogamous with this person. This person isn't everything to you. Is that possible? Can you find someone that's everything to you? Well, only you can answer that. And then when you find that person, is that per are you everything to that person? It's all about the puzzle and the fit. So it's fine, you know, when, when we're trying to 
when we're trying to withstand and trying to 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 regard ourselves as being intimate and being with our relationship within the relation re- relationship type that's fine to say you know i'm in a monogamous relationship that's fine but that don't mean that that's going to be forever because let me tell you something you could be in a monogamous relationship today and find out that i want to change that up this person isn't hitting all cylinders anymore and then you're shifting out of the monogamous relationship Monogamy is, a, is an evolution, man. We're spending a lot of time worrying about policing monogamous relationships. And this is what's destroying them. Period. It's destroying them. Every monogamous relationship that we sit around and police and, and, and demand won't work. Because policing a relationship will destroy one. Trust. Trust. And not only will destroy it, you won't even be friends no more because <laughs> you policing somebody else. It's too much, man. We got to learn to forgive. We got to learn to harbor in appreciation for the other person. We also got to allow them to be who they are. Monogamy is not that, not that easy out here. Everybody wants it, right? <laughs> no, maybe not everybody. But a lot of people want monogamy. But understand, there's levels to this monogamy thing. Trust. There's levels to it. You're not going to just be able to be like, I'm monogamous, and then everything works perfect. No, that's not how this works. Monogamy takes time, effort, patience, forgiveness. Can you have that for everybody? Not necessarily. So we got to sit back and look. How do I measure up? in that per- person's eye- eyesight and how in, in my eyesight do they measure up for me and in those measurements are we are we fairly close because it's not going to be perfect because of course human is imperfect so it's not ever going to be perfect but is it close is it close enough to where we can actually be functional where we can actually replenish each other that can only be answered by the couple see but like I said, best way to see if you two make sense is listen to other people. Look at how other people look at you. I tell, I tell people all the time, my baby girl and her boyfriend, they match. I cannot describe it. They match, honey. And, and the thing about it is, I say it all the time, they're cute together. But if you took their faces away, you could still feel the level of care they have for each other. So when you, when you feel the level of care that you have, and you're faceless? Can you imagine just taking my daughter's face off and my her boyfriend's face off and still placing them together? And people say, there's something about them too. There's something about, it's not about the looks. It's about the energy they create together. I'm so glad, Margaret. Yeah, because I just want to give y'all something that we have to see outside of the box. A lot of times we assume that, oh, I'm loving this person. I'm enjoying this person. I spend time with this person. I, 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 you know, this person is my everything. And then you're like, okay, we have to be monogamous. So you have to be in the confines of my relationship demands. <laughs> no, it evolves into that. And everybody's evolution is different. So you can't be like, I evolved to it. So you got to evolve to it too. No, it's in due time. So you just have to allow the relationship to grow on its own and be what it is and monogamy happens naturally period (laughs) it's just what it is you find couples that are monogamous on their own and you'll sit back and look and be like damn they didn't try they just are they just have become this on their own i'm just telling you giving y'all some some little things to plan in your mind Make sure to share this. Also, I'm trying to tell y'all people, share this video. Somebody needs to hear it. And not to mention, I want you guys also to go over to my YouTube channel, Carla Nicole, uh, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel, and subscribe. Get over there and subscribe. I got plenty to tell you over there. But over here, today, I had to talk about monogamy. Just because I know so many people desire it, but yet they don't really know there's levels to it. You can't just say, well, I'm, I'm ready and your partner's not, but yet we're demanding our partner to be that. So when you're when you're doing that, it's like, oh, I have this certain level of, of demands on it. 
that's fine, but <laughs> just yeah, but okay, thanks, babe. Um, so you you know, there's levels to this, so you have to understand that hey, we have to sit back and we have to realize that at at the end of the day, monogamy is a beautiful thing. But we have to understand that monogamy is an evolution. It's what drives our relationship to be that. And if it's not monogamous, then no need to promote to the next level of monogamy because you two aren't that. But you can still be. You just won't be monogamous. <laughs> That's all it is. I'm just making this easy. Simple, very simple. But I'm trying to help everybody to understand. Monogamy is not easy. I don't care who tells you the other way. It's not. It's the toughest type of relationship to be in. But outside of that, how do we become that? Well, we evolve to that. And then it's it's effortless. And then we're like, damn, I didn't realize how we just match. And because we just match, it works. Period. I hope I helped y'all today. <laughs> I really do. Hey, listen, if you have, if you don't know yet, every Sunday, I have a show at 12 p.m. So be sure to, uh, to join me at 12 p.m. on Sunday. I'm doing my manifestation series. I would love for you guys to be there every Sunday at 12 o'clock noon. I'm on. I'm on live. Okay. But today I had to talk about monogamy because I just want to give you guys something to think about. It's fine to desi desire having an exclusive relationship. That's beautiful. But understand, though, that you have to allow that type of relationship to develop. Just like, you you know, you can't get a monogamous relationship overnight. It has to be developed. But it has to take patience. It has to take time. It has to take forgiveness, appreciation, all of those things. All right? Share this video. All right? I'm Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.